Hello everybody and welcome to another qualifier match of Gears of War 5 here where we are witnessing Dro aka Sonic Boomer aka Sonic Boom Boom try to qualify for this for this upcoming tournament where there will be some grand prize money that he may end up using for I don't know what anyway so while we are waiting it seems that we will be indeed going over some team deathmatch here on river now this is a map that has not been seen or played on for the past decade actually a little bit over a decade so anyways while we wait here for the map uh, for the match to to get underway while more players are joining the lobby let's uh let's go over you know the quick um what's it called the quick the quick social media handle so again <laughs> Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to subscribe, like the video, share the video, do all that good stuff. So also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, also at Sonic Dro over at Twitch where we will start streaming very, very much soon. So here we go. The match has started. So indeed, Dro here playing as Lizzie. Again, this is a map that has not been seen or played on in over a decade and a lot of the Gears of War community has been asking for this map for the longest. So it seems that Dro will be going into their little tower, going straight for the Torque Bow. I'm um, assuming he will be going up there once the sniper spawns. If my memory serves me right, that is also the sniper spawn. So right there, Dro almost killed himself uh, shooting the destructible cover with his own Torque Bow shot. So he aims down. That is two Torque Bow bolts that has been wasted. The third one he connects and ends up killing somebody over at Bridge. Again, the Flamethrower, another weapon that has not been seen in a while. I don't want to say exclusive to this map, but it is another weapon that was found on this map that has not been seen in that period of time. It's been a little bit over a decade. I want to say it's been about 12 years since this map has has been played on by the Gears of War community unless you went back to Gears 2 and played the OG 360 game but other than that this is the first time we've seen the we've seen this map remastered here for uh the newest Gears of War game so again here we go uh it looks like Joe will be going down under uh where the boom shot spawns to see if he finds some enemies so he finds one he revs up the torque bow he's aiming at him but it seems that guy's not gonna come out of cover and he wasted most of that torque bow bolts all of them He actually got one kill with it. Uh, he ends up getting that kill on that cantus. There goes that ram that ram sets Oh, no and just turns over belly side up says I am done. He takes one <laughs> one nasher hit and goes down Dro ends up picking up the The flamethrower which was dropped by that cantus. Let's see if he can do some work with this flamethrower again This is a weapon that Dro has not used in so long and if I recall properly this weapon can be really good if you have an active reload on it and you know make sure to burn baby burn whenever you have to so here we go here we see a cantus with the boom shot dro says he don't give a damn <laughs> he could have gotten blown up right there by the boom shot but he said he's gonna fire it up oh my god he's got the active reload on the flamethrower and if you've noticed active active rounds on the flamethrower will set the environment on fire so if you end up stepping on that fire, you will take yourself out. So the flamethrower, very potent with the active reload. But Dro's getting crossed here by Lancer Fire. Again, another Cantus that he has crispified. He has crispified a bunch of Cantuses today. Um, it's it, it's incredible. A again, this is very nostalgic looking at this. L looking at this map just being played again. It's it's really good. Oh, the Swarm Imago had been reconning him. Uh, Dro did not know that re uh, uh, Blood Moon Imago was right there around the corner. Just came up straight up, blew him to bits with a Nasher Nasher shotgun to the face. Uh, so here we go. Dro again. He just spawned. He is running towards the little house, his little tower. Uh, he's going. It seems that he's going again for Torque. But it seems on the other side of the map, he's already. He's he's already being scouted by the other torque bow user and he is taking some aggro But Dro says he's gonna be patient He's gonna wait for the shots to come in and he, he ends up picking up the torque bow once again um, He's going for it. He misses his first shot. He sees he sees the enemy in the other tower revving up the torque bow, but 
Oh, that is terrible aim on behalf of Dro. So it seems that the Locust team, the Swarm team, is down to their last two spawns. Again, uh, based on what I've seen so far, it seems that the Locust team may be a little undermanned at this time. So, ugh, GG's. Oh, <laughs> Dro attempts a little lob up there, but he shoots it very, very low, and it's not. It ain't going nowhere. That was a complete waste. Dro this round with the Torque Bow. Complete inefficiency, I will say that. Um... So here we go. It seems both Lizzie's here are going to push the Cantus. And he ends up getting taken out. Cantus, ooh, stood no chance. He got two Lizzie's on you. You can't, you can't expect to survive that. So the first round goes to the COG team. Again, it seems that the Locust team is undermanned by one. So it is a four versus one situation. Again, the thing with this qualifier match is it's, um, it's, it's not ranked yet, so it it really it's it's really up to the team play. It's up to the team to ensure that they they move up in the qualifier matches. So if people end up quitting or losing connection or whatever the case, that is it, it's very unfortunate. Joe picks up the sniper just as predicted earlier. He is being scoped from the other side. Uh, Drill returns return scope. He he pops one shot. He misses, but it seems that he's still being looked at. And oh, this is tense. Um, nothing happens. It seems that the COG team is pushing that other tower because the sniper appears to have been distracted. He drops another shot, ends up missing. Um, again, he sees he he he. It's it's Joe's just looking around trying to see if he can find any targets. Again, the the locust team is at a disadvantage right now. So, oh, he spots someone down under bridge. He goes for it. He misses that ram. Uh, he says, nope, he's he's not getting any good line of sight from this tower, so he decided to leave. So he's going, and he appears to, uh, he's, he's taking this tactically, he waits, he hears, he knows someone's going to come up. Could it be that ram from earlier? Oh, it's, uh, it's that Scion, it, he, ooh, he misses, just barely misses the headshot, but ends up taking him out with the Nash shotgun. Two versus one situation, ends up getting taken out, his teammate takes out. One of the Locust teams with the boom shot. Oh, what, what do we have here? High Reaper missing all them Nasher shots. He ends up getting the Kentas in the end. Uh, Dro has respawned again, and he's running straight back. Uh, again, it, he has not had too much luck with these power weapons, starting off with the Torque Bow first round, and now the Sniper, he, he got absolutely nothing with it uh, other than one hit marker earlier, so... Uh, so Dro's going down under. Oh, and he gets blasted. 74% on that Cantus in one shot. Oh, you know he is upset about that. Um, again, the inconsistencies with the Nasher, it's, it can be very infuriating. Uh, so Dro, again, he, he, he sees the sign up in the middle going up towards the house. He sees that the bear down low is, is needing some assistance. So he ends up dropping, he is dropping some, uh, some lancer fire trying to cross that uh, that ram, so he he does spook the ram and he ends up going into cover. So it's he it, yeah, Dro it looks like he wants to push this. He grabs the smoke, he tosses the smoke on one side. I don't know what he was thinking. Um, he, he's one v one in the ram. He ends up taking out the ram out. Uh, he, here comes the cantus. He runs right past the cantus. He doesn't even try. Oh, he hides behind cover. Oh, up a and he ends up taking that cantus out. Ooh, that is embarrassing on the part of that cantus. Um, given that. The Kents appear to have been on the offensive first, but it could have been again that Dro may have just baited him. He was he was looking for that cover advantage. Uh, Dro spots spots that ram up there. He did not pick up the boom shot. Teammate picked up the boom shot. Oh, he ends up rolling in front of that enemy. That could have ended terribly bad. Had had Dro not had a <laughs> had a teammate there to take out that enemy. Uh, rolled literally right in front of him. He sees the ram right there. He seems to be tunnel vision with the lancer. Oh, he ends up taking him out. He's a one v one situation with, with that grenadier. Looks like it's a, it's a scion. It's a scion. It looks like I think I don't know what it is. Oh, that scion was foolish trying to push that right hand advantage. Dro with the right hand advantage in that cover. Um, that was very foolish on the part of that player. Uh, so here we go. The final two locusts. This this was a huge victory, or rather rather easy victory not too much resistance on the locust part uh one of the two locusts gets taken oh he sees the sniper oh dro was wondering where that other cantus was at and he did see the sniper a bit too late 
the sniper had been scoping him out for the last, I don't know, few moments. And by the time Dro saw him, it was too late. Uh, here we go. Dro has respawned again. Seeming, he's seemingly liking this route going under bridge to the other side of the map. Um, so here we go. They are pushing. He, they're pushing that Cantus. He is inside. Oh, that Lizzie ends up getting taken out by the Cantus. Dro pulled out the chainsaw. Is he going to rev up? Chainsaw crew! Yeah, he got the last kill with a chainsaw. Oh, you know that Cantus is upset. Now, uh, Dro with the MVP. Cog takes this TDM match two rounds to none. Uh, 16 eliminations with two downs. Let's see how many, how many deaths Boom Boom had. Uh, earning that MVP. So, he is out there with four. So, he went... He went 16, 2, and 4 again for the MVP. Now, with this win on TDM, Dro has moved up in the overalls to 3 to 1. We'll see what the next map. We'll see what the next map has in store. It might be another TDM match. So we'll see. We'll see what happens.